Madam Secretary, I refer to the question just raised, which was originally supposed to be asked to the Prime Minister. My question was filed in compliance with Standing Orders 41. The Business Committee is agreed to the question. However, Madam Speaker, yesterday a senior minister of the government approached me twice asking for his agreement to have the Attorney General answer the Prime Minister and Minister, answer for the Prime Minister and Minister for Italian Affairs. This morning, after seeing the order paper, I called the Secretary General to protest this unauthorized model. This is outrageous, Madam Speaker, that is it is inconsistent with Section 6B of the Constitution, which calls for officers of Parliament to serve, to secure the honour and dignity of Parliament, and see one my rights and privilege as a member. I want to know who authorised the insertion of Honourable Kayyub's names as the Minister to answer my question, my answer the question raised by, by my colleague which was filed in compliance with standing orders and directed to the Prime Minister. And while such change was made outside the business committee, and after informal approaches from the other side, were refused. This is extraordinary, Madam Speaker. The question relates to indigenous rights, and the Minister for Indigenous Affairs in Fiji must surely answer this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madam Speaker, Itokia Affairs is not one of the areas of responsibility that Honorable Kayum has jurisdiction over, according to his appointment details in Gazette, as Gazette at number 34. So why is he answering the question? I want the Prime Minister to answer it and want the AG. If I want, if his question is raised to the AG, then it is supposed to be raised to the AG. But this is the portfolio held by the Honorable Prime Minister. If the Prime Minister can't answer my question, the question raised, then he should stand up and say so and resign his portfolio. Thank you.